Hi, I'm Art Tamiya in Fukuoka, a beautiful city in Kyushu, southern part of Japan. If you got three to four days, I'm going to show you now what you can do here in Fukuoka and around. Let's join me! Welcome to Bangkok's Suwanapum Airport. I'm going to do self-check-in at kiosk around Thai Airways counter. Nowadays, we can check in via thaiairways.com, Thai Airways mobile application, or at self-check-in kiosk here. Really convenient and save time. After collecting your boarding pass, just drop your baggage by yourself. I get 30 kilograms of baggage allowance because I'm a Royal Orchid Plus Silver member, so I don't have to worry much about how much I'll shop in Japan. On board, I love Thai Airways safety and hygienic measures as well as their in-flight entertainment. The seat is comfortable and the food is great as usual. In less than 5 hours, we're here, Fukuoka! I've been to Japan for the first time with the Shift for Southeast Asian and Japanese Youth Program and I stayed with the host family in Fukuoka. That's why I feel bonded to this city. We took an airport bus to Hakata Station and headed to JR office to exchange my e-voucher to 3-day Northern Kyushu Area Rail Pass. Don't forget to prepare all documents to show at the counter. For some trains, you need to secure your seats in advance and issue the tickets at this JR office. Tell them the exact time of your preferred train rides. If you plan to travel by train to outside the city like I do, book for a hotel near Hakata Station, so you can easily walk here every morning without a rush. As usual, hotel check-in time in Japan is 3 p.m. We left our luggage at the hotel first and went for lunch. Our first meal was at Ichiran Ramen. Fukuoka is considered the birthplace of tonkotsu ramen, and you won't be disappointed trying the ramen here. In most ramen shops, you have to buy a voucher from a vending machine and give it to a staff member. You are required to give your preferences as much as you can. Then, you will be seated in your private space, which allows you to really focus on your ramen. Itadakimasu! After that, we walked to Tochoji Temple where Japan's largest seated wooden Buddha image is located. This temple was founded in 806 that made me realize that Fukuoka has one of the oldest histories in Japan. We then visited Kushida Shrine with its history back to 757 when Hakata was flourishing as a port city that welcomed delegations from mainland China and Korea. We returned to the hotel to check in before taking a bus from Hakata Bus Terminal to Momochi Seaside Park. Momochi Seaside Park is next to Fukuoka Tower. Local people love hanging out around here in the evening time and witness a beautiful sunset over Hakata Bay. I also saw some international visitors, mostly from South Korea. Yufuinian Yokoso, welcome to Yufuin. This is a small, charming town just two hours away from Fukuoka. This morning I took a normal train, it's called Yufu 73 to here, and now I'm in front of 
Eki or Yufu In Railway Station. We're going to explore this town by walk today, starting from here. And behind me is Walking Street, where you can see the gigantic mountain, right? And then the first stop, we're going to walk to Kinri Lake, which is very beautiful. Are you ready? Let's follow me. Along the way to Kinri Lake, if you feel a little bit thirsty, uh, you can just grab some drinks at convenience stores along the way. So there are many different kinds of drinks here in Japan. I have this tea with lemon. It's unsweetened. It's really fresh. So this is a orange juice shop which is very fresh and they I think they pierce through uh, the orange and then scoop it and make it like a fresh juice. We can drink it directly from the orange and this is like a trash box which is very creative. Right, here it is. Got here cute, 500 yen each. Mmm, so refreshing. Kinrin Lake is a landmark of Yufuan. I love the natural surroundings, full of big trees and beautiful flowers. There's a little shrine by the lake, giving me the feeling of tranquility. At Yufuin Floral Village, it's a collection of many beautiful creative buildings. There are souvenir shops. I love that there are many spots which are photogenic and I especially love different kinds of flowers they have. That's why it's called Floral Village. So if you love photo taking, this is the place for you. The highlight of this excursion is the special train called Yufuin no Mori, which means the forest of Yufuin. The interior of the train is mostly decorated in a traditional wooden style with green carpet and seats to reflect the relaxing nature of Yufuan and the surrounding mountain forests. There's a lounge and bar on board where you can enjoy buying souvenirs, drinks, and snacks. This luxurious express train requires seat reservations in advance. Ohayou gozaimasu! It's a rainy day today, but I think it's fresh and we could walk without strong sunlight. Well, let's get my favorite morning coffee at Family Mart before catching the Shinkansen Mizuho 601 to Kumamoto. Just a bit over half an hour, we were here at Kumamoto Station. The first thing we saw was Kumamo, a mascot of Kumamoto Prefecture. So cute! It is recommended that we buy a tram pass. The price is 500 yen for unlimited tram rides for one day. Kumamoto is a major city on Kyushu's west coast, famous for its castle, which is one of Japan's largest and most complete. The city was hit by strong earthquakes in 2016. With pouring rain, I felt the greenness everywhere on the way to Kumamoto Castle, which is located on a hilltop. Only a few structures have survived since the castle's construction in 1607. Most parts are modern reconstructions with high quality. The original design was done by Kato Kiyomaza, 
a local feudal lord. The castle tower now is a concrete reconstruction built in 1960, but several ancillary wooden buildings of the original castle remain. The museum is very well managed with displays about the castle's history. Nice views of the castle grounds and surrounding city can be enjoyed from the top floor of the main tower. We were heading down to Sagra Nobaba Josayan, a 17th century styled castle town, and further to Kamitoru Shopping Street, where I planned for a special meal. Here I am for lunch at Katsuretsite restaurant. This is only 10 to 15 minutes walk from uh, Kumamoto Castle. This is one of the best places to have lunch. Uh, I've, I've seen reviews on uh, Tabe Lock and uh, TripAdvisor or even Wong Nai, they recommend the place as, you know, a place for food. Uh, we're going to have tonkatsu, which is fried pork. And this shop is open, you know, was opened in 1975, so it's quite an old one. And now uh, it is located next to the main shopping arcade in the city center. We're going to try like different kind of fried pork, so probably fried prawns as well. The pork here is quite special because it's from the pig farm around here in Kyushu, mainly in Kagoshima. And here the sauce is quite special because they have their own recipe. We're going to show you how to, you know, mix the sauce and then eat with this. Oh, one more thing. This is a restaurant with unlimited rice and miso soup um, and drink. So you can enjoy the, the rice as much as you want. Now I'm ready, okay? Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Back to Hakata Station. We took a subway for one station to Canal City Hakata, a famous local shopping center. This area is famous for yatai, Fukuoka's open-air food stands. Typical dishes include yakitori or grilled chicken skewers and oden or hot pot. Yatai is normally open from 6 p.m. to around 2 a.m. It's a sunny day. We took a train on Fukuhoku Yutaka Line from Hakata Station to Kido Nanzoin Mae Station. Our destination was Nanzoin Temple. On the way to the temple, we passed Melody Bridge, crossing a little stream. I fell in love with the countryside around here. Nanzoin Temple has the world's largest bronze reclining Buddha image, with the length of 41 meters, the height of 11 meters, and the weight of 300 tons. As the temple supported the children of Myanmar for many years, the Buddhist Congress of Myanmar then presented the temple with Buddha's relics. The reclining Buddha image was then constructed as a place to keep these relics. It is believed that the priest head of Nanzawin won lottery several times so that there was enough funding to create such a sacred Buddha image. As Thai people are superstitious and we always want to have luck about money, we couldn't wait to ask for blazings. As today was our last day to use JR Pass, when we were back to Hakata Station, we took a train to Mojigo Station in Kitakyushu, the oldest station on Kagoshima Line. Mojigo has been an international trading port since the late 19th century. Now, it's a tourist destination with several well-preserved Western-style buildings around its waterfront area. I came to Kitakyushu for the first time with the Shift for Southeast Asian and Japanese Youth Program and I had a chance to stay with the host family here so it is, you know, a town in my memory. It's such a great feeling to be back here again.
Back to Hakata, we took a subway for two stations to do shopping in Tianjin. There are all major brands you could ask for. I felt that shopping around Tianjin gives a more relaxing atmosphere than many other big cities in Japan. Last morning in Fukuoka, I took a taxi from the hotel to the airport, which was just 15 minutes. I then did a quick self check in at a kiosk near Thai Airways counter, followed by a baggage drop process. This is another memorable trip in Japan when I had a chance to relieve my childhood memory, as well as to get fully charged. Hope you enjoyed the trip in Fukuoka with me. Don't forget that Thai Airways has daily flights from Bangkok to Fukuoka, so you can just come here as many times as you want. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe. Bye.